was on the ice, it was even more startling to find out that two members of the team came to blows on Saturday night at a team party. Now, despite denials from many Leaf players, it appears that John Cordick did slug Alan Bester in the face and knock his glasses off. Several eyewitnesses at the restaurant said it was more than just a verbal disagreement and that Cordick actually sucker punched his teammate. Now, not too many Leafs were willing to talk about it today, understandably, but Sportsline's Don Martin did get an explanation from one of the alleged combatants. And he's getting hit with all the punches in the book. Not since 1964, Lewiston, Maine. Clay versus Liston. Has there been so much controversy over a punch nobody saw? They might be stopping it. Actually, this tempest in a teapot was hardly as significant, but John Cordick's alleged assault on his own goaltender, Alan Bester, in Vancouver on the weekend did make the front pages in Toronto, and that kind of coverage surprises even the man who allegedly threw the punch. It was that big? Yeah, it was like you sucker punched him, uh, he was crying at the table, you had to be hustled out of the restaurant. Is there any truth in uh, that scenario at all? That scenario is totally wrong. Uh, the only thing that happened was uh, we were talk we had a talk and uh, we disagreed on something. It was F-U-F-U -F -U and uh, it was a little bit loud and maybe everyone thought, you know, somebody stretched a little bit way out, so. What are you gonna do? That's the way it is when you play in a big city like this where hockey's such a popular sport. Of course, Cordick is a prime target for criticism. Normally, the hostility is directed at other teams, but Cordick is the first to admit he's not your normal hockey player. I think you gotta be a little bit insane. And, uh, you know, you know I, I talk my mind, and uh, the guys on the team know when there's something going on on the ice that, you know, I'm back behind them 100%. And, uh, and I'm not uh, sticking up for myself or doing anything for my own self. It's usually eight out of the ten times it's for the guys on my team. So, uh, you know, the guys appreciate what I do and my role, and it's not an easy job to do. Don Martin for Sportsline.